Hey friends, it's time for another Playwright tip. And today I want to talk about a fairly advanced Playwright feature, test fixtures. Fixtures allow you to share code across different test cases in your Playwright code base. And if you think that you haven't used fixtures so far, let me tell you that you probably have. When we go to the Playwright documentation, you will find this Playwright test case over here. And let me show you that the fact that you can access the page object is based on test fixtures. And Playwright itself provides a bunch of predefined fixtures such as page, context, browser, and browser name. And this is really a handy way to encapsulate your test functionality in its own building blocks and require them when you need them. And the best way to understand how fixtures work is by implementing one custom test fixtures ourselves. So let's just do that here right now. What I have here is a quick Playwright test file that uses test and expect. It accesses some environment variables and then does some Playwright magic testing our Checkly web application. And to see how this works, let's spin up a quick debug session, which is my preferred way to debug what's going on. And when we now have a look at what this script is doing, we can step over it and you will see that it's going to checklyhq.com and it's clicking the login link. It's filling out email and password. And then it is waiting for the URL app checklyhq.com to check that this table is visible and then it takes a screenshot. And this is all working great. But now imagine this is now a file with a single test case over here. Most likely I will add a new test case in just a moment. And then I need the same setup instructions to log into the web app and test what is going on. And this is a perfect use case for fixtures. And to implement a fixture, what you can do is you can extend the test object that is coming from Playwright itself. We will initialize a new variable that's called my test. And now we can do test extend and we can give it an object and we can define our own test fixture. So when I now do this here, you see that we define the web app fixture, which will show up over here in just a moment. And then we pass in an async function that has an empty object right now. I will show you what this means in a moment and a use function. And then we are logging out setup. We call use with a string and then we're calling teardown. What's happening now is that Playwright checks that we want to use the web app over here. Then it's running this code. It is executing use. This is what is showing up in our test case. And after everything, after the test case is done, it is calling whatever comes after use. So when we now go over here, we can log out web app and we can run this code. But before we do that, we have to use our my test function over here. When we now run this, you will see that Playwright is running our setup step, which is over here. Then it's running the actual test case, which we have here. Now it's accessing the website and we see that we have the teardown call right now afterwards. And this is perfect to move all our logging logic into our custom fixture. So what we now can do is let's get all this stuff over here and paste it into the setup step. And instead of passing a string over here, let's pass in the page object that now already logged into Checkly and was waiting for this URL. This now means that we can go on, we can remove our page fixture here because we have web app and we can change these two variables here to use web app two because it provides the same functionality as it is a page function over here. And we missed one thing instead of our fixture, we have to also tell, hey, we want to use the page fixture in our own web app fixture. So when we now run this code and let's debug it again to see what's happening, you see that we have here the inspector again. And I just love it that Playwright now starts the debugging session over here because we defined a custom fixture. We can step over everything. We can perform the login flow. And when we now enter our test case, we don't have to deal with all the login logic. And if we want to now add a new test case over here, we can simply use web app and everything is in a single place. But you know, I might say, well, Stefan, I have probably different test files and test cases spread around the entire project. How can I do this to not have my custom fixtures in my spec files? And this is where you can define a custom JavaScript file that does all the magic for you over here. 
So what you see is my setup. It does the same things. It's using test and expect from Playwright itself. It is accessing the environment variables and then it's exporting expect and our newly extended test function so that we can go over to our file. And all we have to do here is we require our setup file now and we can clean up all these things over here and call test because now it has the name test over here. So when we now run this, we just implemented custom fixtures and we are ready to use the web app fixture across different spec files and test cases. And I think this is just a beautiful way to structure your Playwright project and reuse code across different test cases. And this was this week's Playwright tip and I will talk to you next week.